innovation requires dedication and ambition. And oftentimes, dedication and ambition is driven by profits. I understand. And competition has never, it's always yeah. been a part of things. But, but how many times in the history of this world, because as Graham talks about, there could be hundreds of thousands of, of years in multi Younger Dryas yeah. events. You know, how many times did we get to this point? You know, was was there other societies that they weren't strictly motivated by profits and you know advancement and competition in the form of division that actually figured the shit out? Well, that would be if you had a time machine, if you could exist in like a uh, like a bulletproof proof sphere that was invisible to all the people around you and just observe a time. I would want to observe Egypt in its prime. Same. I just would go, what did, what were you guys doing? What were they doing? Like, what was it like? I need one of these jellyfish UAPs <laughs> that they're <showing laughs> and go back. <laughs> that one is the least interesting to me. How come? I just don't, I'm not interested in it. It just doesn't seem like anything. It's flying around. It just goes in the water, comes out of the water. Like, okay. Like, so what? Which ones do you like? I like the ones that move off at insane rates of speed and that like the Tic Tac one. The Tic Tac one, I was watching this documentary on it uh, the other day, and um, they were saying that, that the footage was released because it wasn't supposed to be released. Someone recorded it. Someone recorded the FLIR footage. Of it, and, yeah. Yeah, and someone released it. And if it wasn't for that video footage that people have tried to debunk and they try to come up, but whatever the fuck that thing is, it's showing no visible means of propulsion. It moves off at an insane rate of speed. It's documented on radar. It's documented by eyewitness accounts from multiple jets. It's documented by the, the instrumentation that's in the jets. They saw this thing. They know that this thing is operating in some way that we have no idea how to do that using conventional propulsion methods. And they said that this, it's a much longer video. That the, what they got was only a small piece of it and that there's actually much more of it that the government has. Whatever the fuck that thing is, like that to me, those are the kind of UFOs I'm fascinated by. Something that can go from above 50,000 feet above sea level to 50 feet in less than a second. Like what is that? What is that? Is that ours? Do we, is that why it's always n near military bases? Is that why it's over in San Diego, off the coast of the Nimitz, where the Nimitz was, was at? Is that why it's over in the East Coast, where they have restricted airspace? Is that why these things are always in these places? Is it ours? I mean, if I had some sort of a super sophisticated drone technology that is above and beyond what we think of in terms of what's technologically available today, I would say it's UFOs too. I would say, you know, we have uh, out of this world craft. Yeah. Yeah, but don't you, some of that um, is reverse engineered stuff. Could be. Right? That's what it Bob could Lazar be. Says. Yeah. Or there could be a branch of physics. This is what Eric Weinstein has theorized. And the way he talks about it, it's, it's quite brilliant. And he talks about this one particular college in New York, one particular university that has an insane physics department. And it's also connected to this hedge fund that does like Bernie Madoff numbers that like, don't seem to make sense. But so that would be a great way to m get money for these things. And that you have this insane physics department. So you have these people, they, if you talk, like, that's one of the things that Diana Pasolka talked about in her book about the people that are documented that are involved in these crash retrieval programs and supposedly involved in these back engineering programs. The, the amount of secrecy and their adherence to secrecy is spectacular. And this idea that people can't keep secrets, for the fuck they can't. Yeah. People could be, keep secrets. They, what, they, do you, what, do you, what do you think is the ultimate uh, <laughs> reason for that? Because there's a lot of ideas on why they can't release it. Because like Roswell, and there's been a number of different types of Roswells, mm -hmm. which whether that was ETs that we interacted with, whether there's some sort of alliance between other, you know, uh, alien extraterrestrial races. and what, what do you think is the major fear around that? releasing that well i think there's a bunch of fears first of all someone has got to be held responsible for misallocation of funds so let's say that you have uh, defense spending you have some private company which is uh, by the way which they all think it's private companies that are involved in defense companies that are involved in this research like the lockheed more yeah the world. which yeah. are much better at keeping secrets right you know than the, the government is and that if you have a uh, misallocation of funds, 
and you've lied to Congress. Like someone goes to jail for that. You could. We're talking about laundering, essentially. Could be hundreds of millions, if not billions and billions of dollars over decades. So who made these decisions? Did they make the decisions? Did did Congress not know about it? So if they didn't know about it, they're going to want to know about it. And if they find out that you've been lying to them all this time, well, guess what? You're going to jail. So who's going to jail? Who misallocated funds? Where did the funds go? Was any of that funds filtered? Did anybody get wildly rich during this time? Was there some skimming like we think is going on in Ukraine? It, was there, you know, when you have a, a shitload of money. But who went to jail been, when uh, Rumsfeld said on September 10th of 2001, there's $2 trillion missing? Yeah. We, unaccounted for? Nobody. Nobody. Well, they, they couldn't account for, right? Is an interesting way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Well, also. The, what the, a, okay. So, yeah. The Pentagon allocated. fails its audit every year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's crazy. But they just hired all those IRS agents to go after. Yeah. To go after everybody. Anybody who spends more than 300 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, no, I th yeah. I mean, there's there's also conversations around how it uh, can uh, fuck with uh, religion, you know, mm -hmm. and the uh, you know the ideologies that so many people have and the belief systems. If there's, you know, say there is extraterrestrial life, and you know, how many planets in the galaxy have we found now that could sustain life yeah. even in a close proximity to us? Yeah, quite a few. Yeah, so but Di Diana Pasolka's work, what, what they're talking about is not even necessarily something from another planet. Perhaps something from another planet, but maybe Earth? something. No, maybe something that's from in another dimension. Maybe yeah. something that's hyper advanced that has the ability to access us, and can come and go as it pleases, can go in and out. So it's basically here all the time. We just can't see it because it's multi dimensional. Yes, it's fifth dimension it's something yeah and then also i mean some again this is what bob lazar talked about when he was on the show he said if you had brought a nuclear reactor to you know the 1400s yeah. and showed it to people it'd be indistinguishable from magic they'd be like what the fuck is that this yeah. is sorcery this is crazy but now it's just normal as time goes on a million years two million years from now if somehow or another there's intelligent beings that have uh, continued this evolution of technology and innovation they've they're going to get to a place where it's they they have the ability to do things that are unfathomable you can't even imagine it your your mind is not capable of it because you don't have a point of reference you don't have context there's not uh, pre-existing technology that leads you to make a logical bridge towards this potential that's it's not the words like the yeah. you know they talk about some of the stories in the ancient texts and the bible they